Hello guys, now in this video we will be learning how to solve a question of data insight that is graph based question and you would also be able to learn how to approach such a question when you see it for the first time. So here we have the question and mind is that it's an official question so we just have a very very good question here to practice and understand it from. Now we have a question here where some information in case of pie chart kind of a thing is given the two, two charts show how female and male survey respondent answer to a question so we know this is for female this is for male and how often they ate a certain type of food the food the survey specified that infrequently meant more than rarely but less than occasionally so this is an important information that we should take the note of that infrequently means more than rarely and less than occasionally right now select from the drop down menu we have to select just two of one of these two things one from here one from here so that this makes a perfect statement for us to understand right now let's quickly see what do we have here really infrequently occasionally and what do we have here 10 percent of male 10 20 percent of female 30 percent of female 40 percent of female so we have to choose one from this now we understand, let's read this statement, slightly less than 10% of the male respondents indicate that they ate the food at most. Now, at this juncture, you have a choice whether you want to, because you have to fit in one from this first drop down menu and one from the second drop down menu. So you have to decide which way you want to start from. For example, you can start from the first drop down menu and move to the second, or you can start from the second drop down menu and move to the first. I am very candid about this thing that I always start where we have fewer options because that way I will have to try lesser things. So now here we have three things really infrequent and occasionally. So let me just write it down really infrequently and occasionally. So we have these three things and against them we have to just find out for male and for female and there are certain percentages. Now let's read this statement once more very carefully because there is one specific term that we need to understand. Slightly less than X percentage of male or female respondents indicate that they ate the food at most. At most means if they say at most occasionally that means rarely and infrequently would be the part of it. Therefore you need to understand if they say at most uh, infrequently then rare and infrequent should be the part of it because these two are less than or equal to infrequent. So now we have to find out the percentage of rarely for male female, percentage of infrequently for male and female and percentage of occasionally for male and female. So when we say at most infrequent, remember it should be rare plus infrequent. When we say at most occasionally, it should be rare plus infrequent plus occasionally sum of all three of them. Let's check it for male and female. Now when we see the pi, we can understand that this whole thing is basically 1, that means it's 100% is equal to 1, so 0.2 would mean 20% of it. So rarely, now we are looking at it for female first, rarely for female is approximately this part which is and see, we see that this whole thing is 20%, so this thing is definitely less than 10%. So about this is less than 10% for female and uh, then we have this part. This whole thing that means in at most infrequently rare plus infrequent this would be slightly less than 20 percent because this is this line here is slightly less than 0.2 and the sum of all three of them looks like slightly less than 40 percent but we can't say about 30 because 30 would be somewhere between 0.2 and 0.4 so these are three numbers for the females now let's look at the same numbers for males for male the really thing is going up to maybe 0.3 so maybe less than 30 percent the infrequent infrequent is going even greater than 40 percent and this thing is going even greater than 50 percent so when i look at the first graph i understand that less than 10 percent the male ate food at most really that does not look like as exact as we can just connect it with female because for female we see that this is very very appropriate 20 percent of the female see here we have 20 percent 20 percent of the female ate at most infrequently which is really plus infrequently so that is where we see that we are having a good option here as 20% of female. Now if you check the next option 30% of female we don't have 30% female anywhere. Less than 40% of the male no males is always going greater than 40%. So the answer could have been either 10% of the less than 10% of the male 
but this is not less than 10%. This is actually around 30%. So I should not say less than 30. We can just say it is very, very close to 30. It is definitely less than 20%. So the first option was clearly out. The second option is the only plausible choice that we are left with. And therefore, the answer of this question becomes 20% of the female and then uh, infrequently. And here we get the correct answer 20% of the female and infrequent. I hope you like the explanation. All you have to learn in these questions is that which place to start from. And I decided to start from the infrequent, rarely and occasionally first because there we had lesser choices, only three choices. While in the first one, there were four choices. Therefore, the way I approach this question, it seemed slightly easier to me. And I calculated the percentages for both male and female. And then I quickly arrived at answer. I hope you liked the explanation. And if you did, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and then liking the video as well. Thank you so much.